Barbershop Conversation, guys. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. So, Alexander Usyk versus Deontay Wilder. Deontay Wilder uh, said he would love to go down to cruiserweight. Uh, he said a heavyweight. I haven't done my hi historical research, but he said a heavyweight has never been the heavyweight champion and gone down and actually gotten the cruiserweight championship. And it's a perfect storm because uh, Usyk has all the belts. And then he can go back up and fight Joshua and get all them belts. You understand? I think it's a great PR move. I think it works well for both sides, no matter who wins. Uh, obviously, it would hurt Deontay Wilder if he lost. Uh, but he comes in at 214. Between 214 and 217, he consistently comes in at. And I'm not sure how much time he would need to lose those 14 pounds. But give him four to six months, you know. Uh, so he can lose the 15, 14 pounds because Deontay Wilder is uh, is a lean guy. So uh, I, I would presume it's more muscle than fat. So uh, I'm, I'm not sure that would be an expert call. But I like that fight. I like that fight just because of the pageant, the pa the pageantry of boxing. You know, you got literally, basically, since Anthony Josh was afraid of Deontay Wilder, you got basically all the belts up for grabs. You understand? So uh, I'm I'm uncertain if Usyk would take that fight, uh, presumably because he wants. I don't know if he wants, but they're flirting with him going to the heavyweight division. And since he's doing that, he probably would want to fight with Anthony Joshua. But I like that fight, Deontay Wilder versus Usyk. Uh, I'll ask him about that fight, fight week, next time I see him. Uh, maybe I'm, I'm going to call him probably uh, uh, the week before the fight and just get an update on camp. So remind me to do that because you guys know I don't really like calling fighters per se. Uh, um, but... Uh, I, I like to fight. And, and let me talk about Usyk some more. It's not that I don't like him, but he's not the best pound for pound fighter in the world. He has a credible resume. He's beaten uh, his last two before Bellew, if I remember correctly, were undefeated. Uh, projection. He beat Marco Huck, which I thought was an impressive fight, although Marco. Marco Huck's streak was uh, taken away uh, about a year, year and a half ago, maybe two years ago. And uh, so his mystique had, had been gone, and maybe he had just given up on boxing because he was riding that wave of his undefeated streak. Was it 38-39 wins in a row going for a record? Um, but uh, I like him. He's just not the best pound-for-pound -pound fighter in the world. He, he, he Listen. He's not pound for pound better than Mikey Garcia. He's not. He's not pound for pound better than Terrence Crawford. He's not. If he goes and beats B.Y. Jennings, uh, I would consider that to start off, maybe a B.Y. Jennings would be a good fight, and that's reasonable to make because uh, uh, he his manager works with both the zone and uh, top rank. Um uh, you know, but uh, well, let me know what you guys think. Deontay Wilder said he wants to do that in his career and fight his brother. So uh, I like that matchup. Deontay Wilder versus, versus uh, Usyk. And did I say Klitschko in the beginning of the video? I don't know, but maybe I did. But if I did, <laughs> you guys know what I meant. So, but anyways, man, Barbershop Conversations, man. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. I'm watching Duke and uh, Duke and Army. This may be the first year in a long time where I'm, like, interested in college basketball. Uh, I'm interested in this team. They got these three freshmen that are supposed to be the three of the top five picks in the draft. And uh, I'm watching the game right now. They're playing at Duke. But if you have never been to a, a game at Duke, it is the most smallest, most intense arena that I've been to on a college level. The crowd is right up on you. Um, and... It, it's a bucket list kind of thing. I want to I want to go to a Duke North Carolina game, but I'm gonna start doing all that when my kids get out of high school and and they're uh, on their own. I can start spending my money on myself and my time. So <laughs> so it's gonna take me some years before I start fulfilling like going heavy into my bucket list. But uh, I'll be doing it piece by piece, you know. But 
when they go, if they decide to go to college, they decide to go to college. When they decide to leave the house, I, I don't have an 18 year old uh, restriction in my view. 18 need to get out of the house. I didn't mature till I was 27. <laughs> But that's a whole nother video. But anyways, man, barbershop conversations, man. Feel free to subscribe. But 30-day challenge, day 11, giving away two tickets, Deontay Wilder, Tyson Fury. Join the Patreon if you want to interested in winning. Uh, and uh, we'll go forth from this. Anyways, man, barbershop conversations, man. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. Talk to you guys soon. Peace.